Well, hello out there, good people. I would like to welcome you all to Brown Bag Tarot. All right, I hope you all are doing well. This bag I'm about to tear open is for the Leo, August 2022. Happy birthday, Leos. All right, this message is for you. I'm going to be checking out the energy between you and the person that's on your mind in the area of love. I am splitting the energy, but if you need to reverse them to fit your story, do so. I split the energy so I don't get confused. All right, when I'm talking about you too. All right, so let's get into it. Thank you, Spirit. Please give me a message for the Leo, August 2020, and their person. Please give me a message for, okay, that's a lot coming out. Envy popped out. Um, please give me a message for Leo. August 2020 concerning their person. Please give me a message for Leo. August 2020 concerning their person. Please give me a message for Leo. August 2022. Thank you, Spirit. What you got, Leo? Anxiety. Strategy. All right. Your person. What is in the person's energy? Leo is thinking about. What is in the person's energy? Leo is thinking about. All tied up. Goddess of the moon. Community. Mm. Okay. Leo, I feel like your person may think that you're dating somebody in the community. That is like a secret thing going on. Every time I see this card here, that reminds me of the lady in red right there. She up to no good. Okay. She up to no good. And then with the goddess of the moon too, I feel like she is secretly up to no good. So I feel like your person, Leo, may thinking may be thinking that you're up to no good with somebody that is around the both of you. Okay? And what's in the middle? The world. Yeah. Now the world card is clear cut to me. That means it's over. Over. Okay. Anyway, um, you have anxiety and you also have strategy. So you worried about something, Leo. You worried about something and you being strategic about something. Now, I want to get to, let's take a look. See, see, these are my behind the scene cards. These are tell me what's really going on. It's the right of weight deck, but it just gives you a different viewpoint of it. I like it. I love this deck. You know, it's like the let's be nosy. Let's, let's get the hidden secrets. Okay. This is the girl. You ain't hear this from me, but deck. <laughs> this is a, a little birdie told me deck. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on with the Leo. Why does the Leo have anxiety? Spirit, thank you. Why does the Leo have anxiety? Why does the Leo have anxiety? Mm, Queen of Wands. Now the Queen of Wands is the other woman. Now, the Queen of Wands could also be Leo, but the way I read tarot cards, Queen of Wands is normally the other woman. But we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Queen of Wands, Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Look at that. Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords. That's, that's like third-party energy. I don't even like to say that, but it's right there. Queen of Wands, the other woman, created some separation. And, and, and see, listen, the Three of Pentacles, that's like wanting to work together but i'm reading this as a group of people again like three people here three people there okay man i just got a, a a thought of you might get confronted leo i feel like two people may confront you okay i feel like you may be confronted by the person you were supposed to be in a relationship and the person that if, if if this resonates, okay, because I'm sorry, this is like a specific story. If there was somebody in the community that you was messing around with, I feel like they're going to come and talk to the person you were supposed to be in a relationship with, and they're going to come to you together. Maybe not, but we're going to get in, we're going to get into this um, three of pentacles. But I do feel like it's somebody that wanting to work with you or somebody that you work with. Leo, um, what is the strategy card here? One. Mm hmm Temperance. Five of Wands. There you go. 
They want to come out together. Seventy. You showing up heavy in this energy. Five of Wands, Seven of Wands. You defending this. All right. I feel like. I feel like your strategy because this came out on top of strategy. I feel like when this communication comes in. I mean, let me wait and see. <laughs> I feel like when this communication comes in, you just going to shut it down. You're going to dead it. Like, eh, no, I feel like that's going to be your strategy. You're going to be like, nope, nope, wasn't me. Nope, wasn't me. All right. I feel like you're going to create a big commotion and then just dead it. Like, nope, nope. I'm, I'm, I'm going to clear some more of that. What's the community? Why, why, why is your person all tied up? Why is your person all tied up, Leo? One. Two. Oh. Why is your person all tied up, Leo? Hmm. Ten of Wands, King of Cups. I feel like your person think, all right, see, this is the Nine of Cups. This is the Nine of Cups, and normally you see a person sitting in front of it, you know. But like I said, it's give you a different view, okay? And, and I'm picking up an energy of this is what's going on that you can't see. It's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that you can't see. Um, this is how your person feel. It's a lot of things going on that they don't see, that they wouldn't even have a clue what, what was going on. Okay? You would never think that it's a bunch of kids playing back there. The cups ain't tipped over. Everything looks fine. The man sitting out there out front, fat, happy, like it's all good. But it's all of this going on. In the background, your person thinks that it's a lot going on in the background, okay? They think that you have turned your back on the connection, okay? That's King of Cups. They feel like you have turned your back on the connection, all right? And just don't want to do it no more, okay? That's what your person thinks because they think that you're dealing with somebody in the community secretly. Look at that. What's the goddess of the moon? Why is that here? Six of Cups. Six of Wands. Okay, it could be a Leo. They could think that you could be dealing with a Leo or a, a Scorpio here. All right, but they feel like with this Goddess of the Moon, that it's somebody that you got history with and it's somebody that you really care about. All right? Somebody you got history with and somebody that you care about. All right? Why is, why, why is the community here? That community card. Why is that here? One. Two, three, community, nine of wands, judgment, okay, that, 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 that feels like, uh, um, that feels like a showdown, I'm gonna tell you why, this nine of wands here, I told you this is the right awake deck, and you, you normally see that man standing right there, you know, holding a wand, looking out, but see what he looking at, that big old bear, that's exactly what he looking at right there. So, yeah, he looking scared as hell because he know it's a fight coming, okay? It's a fight coming. And the judgment, okay, the judgment call is it's time for you to, like, face it, okay? I, I feel like this is your person's energy. I feel like your person going to get confronted by somebody. All right, and then it's going to be a judgment call. What's the judgment? What's the judgment call going to be? I feel like your person going to get confronted with somebody, by somebody, okay? I feel like your person going to get confronted by somebody and tell them, what, 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 what's the judgment? What's the judgment? Thank you, Spirit. What's the judgment? One. What's the judgment? Temperance. Death card, sun card. There you go, Leo. Feel I feel like the judgment is going to be A couple of things. I feel like the judgment, the person, it, I feel like you're, the person that you're supposed to be in a relationship with, Leo, may get confronted by somebody in the community. 
okay and i feel like this person is going to tell them that as of right now y'all ain't no longer dealing with each other okay temperance death card the sun you know that that y'all ain't no longer dealing with each other so why even come to leo's person in the first place why is this person coming to leo's person in the first place why is, why, why are they coming in the first place Page of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Magician, King of Wands. I, I feel like, you know, they might be a little saddened that the relationship kind of fizzled out. Okay, because again, it started off with a page offer to begin with. Just a little page offer. All right. But I feel like the person in the community, all right, I feel like this chick or person, whoever they are, thought they was about to step in and be the queen, all right? And, you know, after, you know, the, the relationship kind of fizzled out. I feel like they thought they were about to, like, you know, rekindle something like, hey, let's try it again. We already know each other. We already got history. You know what I'm saying? You know, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, listen, ain't nobody got to know. Okay, let's keep this on the low low. Okay, I have turned my back on them anyway. It's all over with anyway. Oh, you know, I feel like this is the Omega, what you've been telling your person, or switch the energies if needed. You know what I'm saying? But it's on the person side. Your person feel tied up because they think that you may secretly have been, you know, going off with, you know, somebody in the community. Okay, and now, you know, somebody that you got history with, it was pretty good. Okay, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you may have offered that person an offer, which was, again, a page offer. Your person thought they was, you know, that person you made this page offer to thought they was about to become the queen. But it turned out to be not so magical. All right, so now, you know, your person, the this person you know, want to come and I feel like talk, have a meeting of the minds so they can tell the person you were supposed to be with Gemini, um, Gemini might be dealing with a Gemini. Um, um, but the one that got the page offer is coming to tell the one that's tied up. Y'all ain't messing around no more. Or they could be coming to you directly leo to confront you okay why why is the ten of swords here ten of swords seven of wands why is that here queen of pentacles lovers listen absolutely you could be dealing with the gemini all right, but I feel like whoever thought they were going to be the queen I said Gemini earlier you know what I'm saying maybe these two people are gonna come and talk to you all right, like, hey, what's the deal? What is going on here? Okay, why does uh, why is this five of wands here? Mm, hermit, hermit, will of fortune, queen of wands again. Okay, I feel like you're gonna like go somewhere by yourself. You know, I feel like you may tell both of them like, hey, beat it. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Beat it. Okay, wait a minute. Why is the Queen of Wands here? One. Okay. Uh, yeah. Beat it. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Beat it. This Wheel of Fortune. Why is, why is that here? Two. Why is that here? High Priestess. I feel like you're going to get like some type of intuitive nudge. You see that spirit is up there? Okay, I feel like spirit is nudging you. Man, look at that. It's the Gemini's right there underneath with the magician card. Okay, those are both Gemini cards. You could very well be dealing with the Gemini. But anyway, I feel like spirit is like nudging you like, hey, Leo, hey, it's about to be something to jump off. I feel like if you feel that, don't ignore that. Okay, don't ignore that because I feel like your person is also getting an intuitive nudge that something is about to come out. All right. Something is about to come out that don't nobody want to hear. 
What's the advice for the Leo? Again, reverse the placements if you need to. But I feel like, Leo, it's the ending of the world card because of what you have invested in, whether it was with one person or multiple people. I feel like you're having anxiety because it's about to come out what's been going down, all right? And you're trying to come up with the strategy of what is really going on. Absolutely. Because look at this Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is being nice to somebody. She's telling somebody what is going on because normally this is what the Queen of Wands is. I told y'all I love this deck. All right. It gave me a different perspective on what's really going on. This is her. And now this is her telling somebody else what's really been going on. She's going to come in nice. All right. And I feel like your strategy is to circumvent, you know, this meeting like, no, mm -mm. I feel like you're going to shut it down some type of way, some type of way, which is the strategy that you're trying to come up with. Because you really don't want to have this conversation about the woman in the community who you've been dealing with on the low, low. All right. And it didn't really work out. All right. And your person had a little intuitive nudge that something was going on behind the scenes that they really didn't know, you know, what was. But it was. They just couldn't prove it. All right. What is what is the advice? And they feel like when they have a meeting with this person, they're going to be like, man, after all of this time, I can't believe it. You know what? It's over. <laughs> what, is, what is the advice for the gem? Uh, I keep saying Gemini. This is crazy. Um, For the Leo. What is the advice for the Leo? All right. What is the advice for the Leo? Thank you, Spirit. What is the advice for the Leo? Thank you, Spirit. What is the advice for the Leo? Spiritual strength. Okay. I feel like Spirit is saying, be strong. You're going to need it. I also feel like they're saying, be up front. You know what I'm saying? Be up front. I feel like spirit going to hold your hand if you decide to do the right thing. Because I see you, you know, running away. What they say, fight, flight, or fawn. I see you flighting, which means you running. But I feel like spirit is saying be up front. Whoever is involved, they need to be up front. They need to be up front. Spirit is going to be with you. You know, because again, he's giving you like an intuitive nudge anyway. That something about to pop off. All right. Be up front. I feel like if you can be up front and integral, all right, you are going to get, you know, a love relationship. You know, it's, I feel like it's not going to really affect you that much. All right. I feel like if you're just up front and honest, Leo, about, hey, you know, yeah, I was trying to date both y'all. Now what? Okay. Just be up front. All right. I feel like if you can do that, you're... It's going to be a love situation or or I feel like you can continue dating because this is dating. All right. And since you like dating multiple people, I feel like you're going to be able to continue to do that. OK, Leo. Yeah. So I feel like that's exactly what spirit is saying. Do because this is your card. Step into the light. Step into the light and be honest. All right. Step into the light and be honest. That's what I got for you, Leo. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. If you did, hit that like button, okay? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Tell a friend. Tell them to do so, too. <laughs> if you resonate with this message, leave it in the comment section because I would love to hear your feedback, all right? Now, until the next time we get together over here at Brown Bag Tarot, good people, where well, I'm tearing open people's bags. Mm-hmm. I encourage you all to pack light and y'all be cool.